Hey everybody, Angela Petrulli here. I am back for a brand new episode of The Riff Rundown with the fine folks at Fishman. Today's lesson is pre-recorded, but don't worry, it's still gonna be fun and interactive and all that good stuff. Today we're gonna be learning Have You Ever Seen the Rain by CCR, one of my favorite tunes to play on acoustic. So have your acoustic guitar in standard tuning for this one. We're gonna be doing a lot of cool strumming and some, and some slash chords as well. So as always, you guys know, I like to ask a question at the top of the hour. So let me know where you are tuning in from and a band you're really heartbroken about when they broke up. So where are you tuning in from and a band that absolutely broke your heart when you heard that they broke up? So that's what I want to know for today. Get these guitars in standard tuning. And here we go, folks. Here is Have You Ever Seen the Rain by CCR. <laughs> Have it. We'll be going over all of these parts. I just love the piano riff on this and I it just didn't feel right to do this lesson without that part. So throwing it in today, throwing it in today. So this will be a lot of fun. So as I mentioned, standard tuning acoustic guitar here. Let's go ahead and look at the intro. Okay, I'm gonna play it a little bit slower than I did at the top. So it's gonna be A minor F, C over G to G back to C. Now, I did watch a few versions of John Fogarty playing this acoustic, so I'm gonna give you another option for that F chord, okay? So here we go, nice and slowly, this is the intro. What's happening here at the very, very top with that A minor, we're gonna do a really quick little strum here. It's gonna go like this, just like that. And we're gonna get into the big strum here. So it's like, we're, it's, it's, it's like this triumphant beginning to this song. So that's where we really kick it off. So it's a nice down, up, down. And then right back up into the strum here. So I'm gonna do that again. And we add in this little bit here. So the strumming pattern here is gonna be one and two and three and four and. We want the accents on the two and the four. So one and two and three and four and. All right. So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add in that A minor and then get right in to the one and two and three and four. So when we accent the two and four, we're really locking in with the snare drum. Okay, so keep that in mind. So we're doing a lot of that in this song. So from the top, I'll do it a little slower. We're just gonna break this down, okay? So just the A minor, we're not gonna worry about the other chords quite yet. I want, I want us to get this down first. So here we go, slowly. We're gonna repeat this a couple of times. Okay, let's do that again. Now, those hits, how am I doing those hits? I'm using this part of my hand here, the heel of the hand. That's what's making that sound against those strings, all right? So when I go one and two and three and four and, let this part of the hand hit the 
before the pick, okay? Because we don't want any of that, we don't want any of that scratch, we want more of that thud, okay? Now, it's gonna take a little practice. You're tucking in that pick ever so slightly, but we want, again, we want this part of the hand hitting those strings, okay? So let's do that again. Okay, so now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to the F chord. Now, when I saw John Fogarty play this live acoustic, he chooses to play an F over C. So how we play this, that first finger is gonna go on the first fret of the B string, that's C. Your second finger, second fret of the G string, that's A. Your third finger is reaching up to play C. That's the slash of F over C, there it is. Your pinky finger plays that on the third fret of the D string, that is your F. So, just like that. He also overhangs his thumb a little bit. Could we say that perhaps he's getting a little bit of that low F note, it's possible. In that case, we would just call it strictly an F chord. Um, for me, in listening back to the recording, however, I got a really strong hearing of that F all the way on the, that first fret of the E string. So that's how I'm gonna play it here, but no, I'm giving you guys both options. You wanna play it a little bit more like Fogarty, go ahead and do the F over C. But with the recording, to my ear, it sounds a little bit more like just regular F bar chord here, okay? And the strumming pattern here too, one and two and three and four, accents on those two and four, okay? So here we go, let's just work on just the F chord. I'm gonna choose to play the F bar chord if you wanna play the F over C, totally cool here. So it's gonna be a one and two, Let's add in the A minor, okay? So here we go. Let's do it a little slower. One, two, three. Okay, again. One more time for good luck, A minor. So just like that. Now, we add our C over G, like this. Okay, your first finger is on C, first fret of that B string. Your second finger reaching up, second fret of that D string. That note is E, it's our third. Your third finger reaching up to that third fret of the E string, that's our G. That's the, the slash G over the C chord, just like that, okay? Pinky finger is gonna go on the C note, third fret of the A string, strum everything. Okay, same strumming pattern. One and two and three and four and. All right, so let's go ahead and do those three. Here we go. One. Now you'll notice here too, with that C over G, they also throw in that little wiggle, that down that we see at the top with the A minor. So now let's throw that in here, okay? So here we go. Cool stuff, right? Let's do it one more time. Now here comes our riff. The riff is gonna sound like this, and this is what the piano part and the bass part is doing here too. Now, if that's too much to do that, my beginners in particular, if that's too much to do that, just play a G chord with the same one and two and three and four and, you can do that. With this, it has a really fun little riff if you can get it, if you can get it in the, in the mix of everything. So here are the notes. We're gonna put our first finger on the second fret of the G string. That note's gonna be A, then lift, G note, open G string. We're gonna hit the second fret of the D string twice. That note is E. Open A string, 
Land with your third finger on C, third fret of the A string. Why? The next thing that's coming is gonna be that C chord. So I want us to be prepared. So it would look something like this. See what I mean? By placing that third finger there, it's really setting us up quite nicely into that C chord. Okay, so let's do that again a couple times here and then we'll add it to the chords. One more time. Okay, you can do this. I believe in you. This is, you can totally do this. So let's go through the intro A minor F or F over C, C over G to this riff. We'll do it a little bit slower. Here we go. That strum again for this C chord. One and two and three and four and. And now we're gonna do this riff. This is the second riff. There are two riffs in this song. This is the second one. Okay, so let's talk about the notes that are here and how to play it. Since we are already at the C chord, that first note. Is a C, so why not play it with the third finger on the third on, on, on the third fret of that A string? So that's what we're gonna do. So that note is C. Get your second finger placing that on the second fret of the A string. That note's B. Open A string there. Okay, so we've got this. And you're gonna get your third finger to play that G note on the third fret of the E string two times. Okay? So we've got this, and again, don't forget to alternate pick here. Okay, alternate picking is gonna make this sound nice and smooth. Don't strike downwards. Let it flow, alternate picking is gonna help you a lot. Okay, just like that. So we're gonna put all this together. So here we go from the A minor. This is the last part of that intro. Once we finish this final riff, that riff two, we're into the verse, okay? So here we go nice and slowly here from the top. Riff one. C chord. Riff two. Okay, and then after this, to start first one, we get that at C over G, so be ready for that. Okay, here we go. Let's do it one more time without the commentary. Okay, so riff one and riff two, remember where they go. So here we go. To our C over G. Now, for the verse, we're gonna do C over G to G, back to C over G two times, okay? So it's gonna sound like this. We already know these two chords, so let's go ahead and put them together. So here we go. C over G and G, same strumming pattern. One and two and three and four. Accents on the two and the four with this part of your hand, right? Heel of the hand, okay? So here we go. G chord. Back to C over G. Let's do this again. So once we do this C over G, right, we're leading into the chorus here, 
we're gonna hit this, we're gonna do two bars of four, and we're gonna do all downward strokes here. Listen back to the original song, you can hear this, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do a quick down up to get to the chorus, which is gonna be an F over C, okay? So here's what it sounds like in context. I'll split the verse in half, so this is what it'll sound like. Nice and smooth. That's key here. All right. So now we're going to get into the chorus. The chorus chords are going to sound a little bit like this. Okay, here we go. Let's do, yeah, F over C. Here we go. We're live. So those chords here, what's happening? We're going to an F over C, okay? F, A, C, with that C in the bass. And then we're gonna go to a G chord here. Now, when I was watching John Fogarty play this live acoustic, he did the full version of G where he's placing the third finger on the third fret of that B string, so you're getting that added fifth of that D. Okay, so first finger is gonna be on the B note, second fret of that. A string, your third finger reaching up to the third fret of the E string, that is G, your, th your second finger. Second finger is doing that. Third finger is over here, third fret of that B string, hitting the D note, and then your pinky finger is hitting G, third fret of that E string. Okay, so that's how John Fogarty, when I watched, that's how he's doing it. Regular old C chord, right? C, E, G, those are our target points here. Okay. And then he's gonna go to a C over B, that's this part, so that. That section here. So how do we do that C over B? It's quite simple, okay? Coming from the C chord, okay? Third finger, get it out of the way. Put your second finger on the second fret of the A string. That's your B note. And you're gonna strum that. It's a beautiful transitional chord here. Strumming the A string, D string, G string, B string. Just like that. If you get the E string in there, it's okay. But I kinda like it if you just leave it to the B string, okay? From there, we go to an A minor, okay? Then back to a C over G. That's what I saw him do, okay? So like that. So let's go through this part here. So here we go. Maintaining that strumming pattern. Let's do that again. First half of the chorus. Okay, so now what we do here, we're gonna repeat those chords again, the F over C, G, C, C over B, A minor, and C over G. We're gonna repeat that whole thing again, okay? We're gonna tag that rest of the chorus with an F over C to a G chord to a C over G. And then we're gonna do riff two. But since we're here with that beautiful C over G, like how great is that chord? We're gonna play the riff starting with the pinky finger, okay? The pinky finger and that fourth finger needs a little love too. So we're gonna give it a good little workout here. Play that third fret of the A string with that pinky finger. Then go back to that second finger. Open A string. Third finger hitting that E string twice at the third fret G note, okay? So I'm gonna play through this whole chorus here and 
We're almost done here, folks. So great. Again, if you guys are enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the cause, folks. And to check out all the cool stuff that Fisherman is up to, including the gear that I'm using for this lesson, be sure to click the link in the video description and get all that good stuff there. All right, so here we go. Here's the entire chorus. I'll do it a little bit slowly here. One, two, three, four. So after we do that riff two at the end of the chorus, we go back into verse two and guess what? We go right back to the C over G, okay? So that C over G to G, back to C over G, we're gonna keep doing it. Here's what's different about verse two. We're gonna do the pass of these chords one time. Then at the end of that first time, we're gonna go back to riff two. It'll sound a little something like this. Since we're coming from that C over G, that pinky finger is playing that C note. Don't worry, you can do it. And going right back to that C over G. It's gonna be a little bit, my beginners, this is gonna be good practice for you, even my intermediates and advanced. It's a good little move to really keep things nice and congruent and smooth, okay? So, we've got right back to that C over G. So really work on that. Again, as I say in these lessons, slow and steady wins the race here. Focus on the technique. Focus on the technique, taking it slow, okay? Bumping up the speed once you're feeling comfortable and play along to the tune. It's a really fun song to play along with, okay? So we repeat that yet again after we do riff two. Back to C over G to G to C over G. Get those fun strums again, those two bars of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, up, into the verse. In context, it would sound something like this. Then into that chorus again, same chords, everybody, same chords as that chorus. So now we go back into that chorus. We finish through the chorus, then what happens next is we do riff two after that chorus. And we do the chorus yet again, all right? So it'll sound something like this. I'll abridge it. I'll play the, the, the second half of each chorus into the riff two. So it sounds something like this. what's happening there. Now we have our final little riff here, which is just so great. It's going to sound like this. Okay, so here are the notes and here are the riffs. Here's how we do it. So you're going to get your first finger, second fret of that G string. That note is A. Open G string. Not too bad. First finger, place that on the second fret of that D string. That note is E. Play it two times. Reach up with your second finger to play G, third fret of that E string, and finish it with a beautiful C chord. OK? 
okay? So just like that. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and play the final part, okay? We're gonna do a chorus, we're gonna do riff two, we're gonna do a chorus again, and then into that final riff, okay? And that's it, folks. We've learned, we've learned the whole song. Again, if you're having a blast with these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel, share these videos with a friend. Would love it if you did. It's always good to spread a little cheer with some music, all right? So here we go, chorus, riff two, chorus, final riff out. Here it is, one, two, Such a beautiful song. I think John Fogarty is, is just one of the best songwriters. I just love his stuff and, and the imagery he creates and just the really hummable, sing-alongable, play-alongable stuff that, that, that he comes up with, I think is just really, really awesome. But yeah, listen to a lot of John Fogarty and CCR growing up. So this stuff is very near and dear to my heart. So let's go ahead and do this. We've got a couple minutes left here. Again, if you're having fun, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and play through the whole thing, all right? Nice and, and uh, abridged, of course, but I will call out the parts, all right? So here we go. Again, thank you all so much for joining and hanging out. It's so great uh, doing these lessons week after week, and it's been lovely getting all of the messages from all of you saying how much you, you've been learning from these. So that, that makes me feel good. And always the, the, the community here too. I love how cool and nice everyone is to each other in the chat and in the comments and, and how uplifting everyone is to one another in this learning process. So I thank you all for the, for the good vibes. That's why, that's why I wanted to do this. So thank you all for being so cool. So here we go from the intro. One, two, three, four. Just a fun song. Listen to it. It's a pretty short song. Listen to it for all the parts, but again, it gave you all the parts you need to play this around a campfire and for your friends and at a gig or wherever you wanna wherever you wanna play this song. Cause it is a really, really fun one. But again, that one and two and three and four and that that strumming pattern, super, super important. As you've noticed, it's 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 throughout this entire song. So hitting the strings with that part of the hand. going to be really really successful for you so I wish you good vibes and as always much success in your musical journey those of you in Los Angeles I will be playing if you want to see me live I'll be playing at the Mint April 22nd opening up for Billy Bob Thornton and the Box Masters it's going to be a fun gig but yeah check out my website for more details again thank you all so much wishing you much success have fun with this one and 